Craig, what kind of difference has um, uh, James Wilhite uh, made, and, and kind of what's he? How's he worked with Sam? How's that? How's that been going? Yeah, it's been going great so far. Uh, you know, just meeting with Sam throughout the off season and talking with him, um, we really felt he'd be a great fit for us. And you know, working with the different kickers and obviously Brett as a punter, but uh, he's done an excellent job, and hopefully he'll continue to uh, help those guys out. Have you worked with a, a kicking specialist before, or is this new for? No, uh, I haven't, but it was something that uh, we had talked about maybe a couple of years and just wanted to find the right fit for it. And uh, James came across uh, and wanted to talk to us about it, and we thought it would be a great fit. Is there something specific he does that's been really effective and some, maybe something specific with Sam that has benefited from him? Yeah, you know what, I, I think he listens. You know, that's the best thing, and he can talk to him really uh, – about the certain techniques and things, because he was a kicker before in college and obviously in high school. But, you know, he, he does a good job relating to him and talking to him about different things, not only physically but mentally too. Uh, you know, that always helps out a kicker or a punter. And, uh, again, I, I think he's doing a great job, and he'll continue to uh, hopefully, uh, you know, help our guys out. What do you know about Ficken before he got here, and how's he been since he's – since first arrived. Yeah, you know, uh, obviously we knew him from when he got done at Penn State, but, uh, you know, we, we still follow all the kickers a lot. And, uh, you know, we, we knew he had a decent year last year. And then, you know, when he was going through his battle there with the Jets on, you know, if he was going to win the job or not. And when he came open, we were like, hey, this is another guy we can bring in to compete with Tucker. And obviously Sam's done a great job and he's really – really separated himself, and we feel really comfortable with him and confident. That 58-yarder he kicked, I mean, how good a kick was that from a technical standpoint? Oh, it was, it was outstanding. You know, one of the biggest things that kickers end up doing where they keep moving back is they think they have to kill the ball. And we try to just tell them, hey, take take your swing. Um, and, and there might be a little bit extra on it, but uh, – we were really excited for him to go out there with confidence and him hitting that 58 yarder obviously gave him confidence, but it also gave our, our, his teammates confidence in him too. Chester Rogers, a guy who's returned a lot of punts in this league. What, what's he do well in that role? Why has he had that job for so long? You know, the greatest thing about Chester is we played against him when he was at Indy and we always thought he was a really good returner. You know, he would have some big returns on us every year. And I think Chester just continues to work and try to perfect his craft. And he goes back there and catches punts, uh, which is one of the best things that he can do, obviously. Uh, but we feel really confident in him because he'll come up and catch the ball and he'll run and get vertical. Or he can go and circle and get to the field because he's got enough speed. Um, but yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty good about Chester and where he's at right now. How do you see? I, he didn't have quite as much experience as a kick returner. Is that something he's been learning here? Yeah, you know that was one of the things even last year that he had talked to me about is uh, don't forget me as a kickoff returner, and uh, we worked him a little bit last year in practice, and you know he just came in there in that obviously first game uh, and the second game he did a really good job for us, and he'll continue to improve on it. Is that something where. Darrington may have had a good shot at that if he was. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think that was a healthy competition between those guys. And really, Darrington, from some of the stuff that we like to do, um, you know, kind of sat back there with Chester and talked with him about the things that he sees. And Chester would also do the same thing. And I think those guys have really helped each other out. Um, and, you know, we're, we're excited to have Chester back there. What do you think has been the key to Brett's consistency year after year based on what you've seen working with him? You know, he, he just amazes me each and every year because he's just a, a great professional and he'll want to go out there and continue to improve on every single thing that he does. Uh, you know, and he'll notice once he has a miss hit, hey, my drop was inside. You, don't, you really don't even have to talk to him about that stuff because even if you walk over there and start talking to him about certain things, so, yeah, I know my drop was inside, you know, my plant foot was this. You know, and, and he just continues to improve each and every year just because he wants to. And he wants to be the best at his position, and he wants to help this team win. Penalties were, were at a pretty good clip last year from the year before. What, what keyed that, and what do you need to do to keep that? Well, I think when you look at the penalties, too, is how many do we take on purpose? 
you know, a couple of years ago, we were taking a bunch on purpose. And then last year, the same thing. But we're going to continue to uh, harp on our players to continue to do the right thing. And we're going to continue to teach them because penalties obviously are huge in special teams, whether it's good or bad for us. You know, if it's against the opponent, that's obviously works out in our favor. But with us, we're, we're going to continue to harp on those guys to play smart, intelligent football, still being aggressive. Uh, but just doing it the right way where we don't get penalties to hurt the team. Week one like for you as you kind of round out your unit, you compete with so many different guys during training camp and preseason, then you're down to 53 and your numbers are down. What's it like getting that group together for all those units and this week one always give you a little anxiety because you're not exactly sure what's going to happen? No, this is, my, this is the exciting time for me because now we know the guys – uh, are going to have a role on this football team. And, you know, obviously during training camp, you're trying to find those certain roles for each and every player. But now we can really sit back and say, okay, this is what Nick Westbrook is going to do. This is what Racy McMath or this is what Chester Rogers is going to do. Um, so it's exciting for them to, one, understand their role on special teams and for them to get in there and, um, you know, build build a unit that's uh, hopefully going to be a pretty good unit for us. Yeah, you know, Racy continues to get better every day, and we're going to continue to work with him uh, and still find his role on the team. But uh, obviously we expect a lot of great things from him. Um, and, and he's willing to put the work in, which is half the battle. Um, you know, so hopefully he goes out there and, and does what he needs to do. But uh, we're happy with his progress, and we hopefully he can continue to do real good things for us. You got to learn a little bit. What's the process of learning special teams in the NFL? Well, the good thing about him is he was coached by a guy that had coached for you know, 10 plus years in the National Football League and Coach McMahon there at LSU. So he already had like a leg up on some certain things um, that we coach in the NFL that's different in college. So, you know, it was us just adjusting a few things that we wanted to teach him on certain techniques that we like to do. Uh, and he's sitting there and saying, hey, coach, I know all this, but you know some, but you don't know it all. But uh, he, he's been great in our meetings, and, and we're excited for him. When you watch the Cardinals, what, what's kind of, what are the concerns maybe heading to that game for your unit? On, on Arizona's team? Yeah, uh, obviously they're, they're well coached. Uh, Coach Rogers does a great job with their special teams unit. They play hard and physical, and, and we've got to make sure, um, you know, obviously that we match that or even exceed their physicality because they do such a great job with them. They obviously have fakes, which we're going to have to be aware of all the time. Uh, but we're excited about this matchup. It's going to be a great test for our guys um, and our core unit because they're a really good team. What's up uh, bring versatility wise and, and well, the greatest thing about Ola that I like is his smile that he brings to the practice field all the time. This guy's he loves football. And uh, you know, he's ready to go out and work every single day. And he obviously brings a different type of physicality to our team that we didn't have last year. Um, and we're hoping that rubs off on even more of our players. But, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to have Ola here because he's, he's a great teammate, and I think that's the best thing about him right now. It kind of meant to you that Mike has kind of put more responsibility on you. Obviously, hopefully does. He's not gone for a week like before, but for him to kind of name you as a guy who would kind of be – Running things. What, what does that mean? Well, he had to, he had to give it to someone. So I, you know, maybe it was a flip of the coin. But uh, you know, it's great. You know, Coach Rabel and I have a great relationship. Um, you know, for him to do that, obviously, I'm I'm very humbled and honored um, for that. But you know, my my responsibilities don't change. I'm I'm going to continue to work hard and help this team win football games and give them everything that I have uh, because. It's what expected from us as coaches. So, you know, all the other stuff that Coach Rabel will ask, I'm going to say, Coach, I'll do anything to help this team win.